The author of a new book is encouraging men and women to take a look at the roles feminism and the sexual revolution have played in shaping today's culture. In her book, Sex Matters, How Modern Feminism Lost Touch with Science, Love, and Common Sense, author Mona Sharon writes, for decades, feminists have urged women to flee from what they love and who they are and rigidly to copy men. It's terrible life advice. And joining me now is the author, Mona Sharon, Senior Fellow at Ethics and Public Policy Center and the author of Sex Matters. Welcome back to the program. Thanks for having me. Women today have more opportunity than their mothers and their grandmothers, and yet you write that happiness is elusive to them and that it is not marched forward with feminism. Why do you believe the data show it hasn't? That's absolutely right. This book traces the fact that while, yes, women have many more opportunities, and we're grateful for those opportunities, we've also lost a great deal because of the feminist changes and because of the sexual revolution. Women are much less secure now than they used to be. Secure They're, financially, emotionally, physically? All of the above. They are, there are millions more women struggling to do everything themselves, to raise kids, to work, to do all the tasks of a family without husbands. Uh, there are millions of women who would like to marry, but there aren't men that are marriageable because the men have been raised in fatherless homes and aren't stepping up and doing the things that men traditionally were able to do to lead families and to be, um, to be strong pillars of their communities. All of that is traceable to the changes that we saw with the sexual revolution and feminism both. I don't deny that feminism has done some good things, but I don't think that we have adequately grappled with the price we've paid. But what do you say, what do you say to working mothers? And I know you were a working mother and you also raised how many? Seven? Three. Three, sorry, wrong, <laughs> wrong I guess. I wish, I wish. <laughs> I know, me too. Um, mm. As they balance career and family, that they set a good example for their daughters and their sons. And similarly, for women who divorce, you know, should they stay in a marriage that where the husband is abusive or a drug addict or an right. alcoholic? Look, the, you've raised tough questions. Everybody grapples with these hard cases. Certainly in a marriage where there's abuse or where there's real suffering, uh, then sometimes the only answer is divorce. But so many, and I show this in the book, so many of the divorces that are happening in America now are not in those kinds of situations. It's really just that people are saying, well, I don't feel fulfilled, or they met someone new. That is not a good reason for a divorce, especially if there are children involved. You say one of the solutions could be that there's a need for a sexual counter-revolution. What's your prescription? I think we're seeing it. Look at the Me Too movement. It really can be interpreted as women saying, we've had it. We don't want to be pawed. We don't want to be sexually harassed at work. We want to be treated with respect. If they could just up their game a little bit and recognize that the hookup culture and this sort of anything goes sexual ethic that our society has inherited from feminism and the sexual revolution, maybe they would realize that women can regain some of that autonomy and sexual power that they unwisely tossed aside years ago. Mona Sharon, thank you for <laughs> joining us, author of Sex Matter Matters, How Modern Feminism Lost Touch with Science, Love, and Common Sense. Thank you again. My pleasure.